My name is Jamar Roberts. I'm a dancer and the resident choreographer for the Alvin Ailey American Dance Theater. I remember reading someone referring to holding space as being like the radical act of presence, you know, being there for someone during a time of stress or anxiety or grief. So I guess essentially it's a piece about healing. The thing that brought me to the music is sort of the thing that sort of brought me to the piece um, as a whole, which was wanting to do something different, make something that felt fresh and that felt new. The works that I have created on Ailey thus far have all been set to jazz music. So I chose the composer Tim Hecker. Tim Hecker also uses acoustic instruments, but I think he sort of distorts them and, and sort of sculpts them in a way that sound like they're a bit more born out of uh, an electronic type genre. To work on this piece during the pandemic was actually um, one of the hardest things in our studios, we were allowed to dance within squares six feet um, from one another. So I kind of was playing on the words holding space. The way that the dancers kind of move on the floor is structured by those actual squares. Here at the Ailey City Group Theater, the set is sort of in this rectangular square type environment that feels very much enclosed and sort of like a confessional. Like he kind of like took that space and sort of uh, surrounded it in lights, which automatically are have like a high-tech sort of futuristic look. The lighting was designed by a Brandon Baker, a wonderful lighting designing friend of mine. You know, the, the space in itself is actually breathing and moving and living along with the dance. He sort of worked with the movement in that way. It's also uh, cube that's involved that we've constructed. The cube is sort of sort of a metaphor for many things. Um, quarantine, being confined in a small space. You know, if you were to, let's say, look at an apartment building and you see the windows and you see different people living in the apartment building, but the cube is sort of like taking a magnifying glass and sort of going deeper into just one apartment unit and sort of like seeing what that experience is like. You know, experiencing one person out of the whole. I think that art sort of illuminates the parts of our lives that we tend to forget when we get lost and wrapped up in like our work and our worries. So if anything, maybe if not directly, you know, the arts is sort of doing a, a major thing and helping us move forward. Indirectly, I think spiritually, it's doing other work. And maybe that will help influence some of the decisions that we make. The more we're exposed to art, then our response is softer, lighter, more loving.